Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I pray that you are doing well. So today I want to get on and talk about the book of Revelation, specifically chapter 14. So the book of Revelation is the last book of the Bible, and I'm going to read verse 8 through 12. Now, for those who are non-Christians who do not believe in Jesus, I would highly advise that you listen carefully because Jesus is giving us wisdom and um, guidance on what to do when the mark of the beast has been implemented. We know that the Antichrist is already here, and I know who that is. I will not say that out loud on my video. However, if you don't know, I would suggest that you fast and pray and ask God to show you who the Antichrist is, and he will show you. I want to go ahead and read chapter 14, verse 8 through 12 of Revelation. And there followed another angel, saying, Babylon is fallen, is fallen, the great city, because she had made all nations drink of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the mark of the beast, or worship the beast in his image, and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of God, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation, and he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. And the smoke of their torment ascendeth up forever and ever, and they have no rest day nor night, who worship the beast and his image, and whosoever receiveth the mark of his name. Here is the patience of the saints. Here are they that keep the commandments of God and the faith of Jesus. So these scriptures explain that if you take the mark of the beast in your hand or on your hand or in your forehead or on your forehead, you are allowing the wrath of God to be upon you. When you take the mark of the beast, you are saying that you are worshiping the devil. You are saying that you are worshiping Satan. You are saying that you are following the beast. We know that the beast is the Antichrist. Now you have a choice. You can either follow Christ or you can follow the Antichrist. There are many at this time claiming to be Jesus, but they are not. Jesus already came in the flesh, died on the cross, crucified, and rose from the dead. The only man that rose from the dead. Now we know that Jesus is coming very soon. We see the signs of the times playing out before us. If you read the book of Revelation, it will give you a timeline of what is going on. And we are right now on that timeline. Many people are having visions and dreams. Many people are being downloaded um, information from our Lord Jesus Christ, our King of Kings. We know that the Messiah is ready and he is coming for his people. We know that he is sealing the 144,000. We know also 
he is warning his people to be ready because it is a spiritual battle. Spiritual warfare is increasing and many Christians are not ready or don't know how to fight. We must be immersed by the word of God completely. We must deny our flesh. We might we have to solely sanctify our bodies unto the Lord and have him consume us completely. We must deny the world and its fleshly desires and lustful desires because those things that the world provides are only temporary. But what God provides is eternal. So think about what is ahead. God gives us wisdom, but he also uses circumstances to wake us up. And as you can see at this present moment, people are going through dire circumstances, either good or bad. But for the most part, I see a lot of people going through very difficult times. And most importantly, that we have to cling unto the Lord. He is our rope. He is handing down the rope to us, and we're clinging to it. But unfortunately, there are people who are clinging to Satan's evil devices and hearing his voice and are not allowing Jesus to come into their hearts. So they close their hearts or close-minded, not able to hear from God. If you want Jesus to come and change you, you need to open your heart. You need to let go of your pride. You need to let go of your um, your knowledge that you gained from many, many studies. Jesus is the all-powerful, all-knowing God, and he knows the beginning to the end. We don't know, but he does. So he knows what the end is going to be, and he knows that he left us the book of Revelation to study the mysteries of the scriptures and to know that we are in the end times and be affirmingly and letting you know that I affirm to you that the Antichrist is already here. If you don't know that he is here, he's already here. And I can mention his name right now, but I'm not going to. But just to let you know, when he appears, you need to know that you are on Christ's side because there will be Christian persecution. Don't think there won't be because there will be. So you must be ready. With that being said, guys, do not take the mark of the beast. If you do, you are damned to go to hell. You are damned in the lake of fire. Do not take the mark of the beast. With that being said, may you have a blessed week in Jesus' name. Shalom.